All praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah. Hey, yo, my people, check this out. This is Joe Crizzle. Um, this is something simple, but it means a lot to some people. and Maybe it don't mean a lot to a lot of other people, but it's about views of options that you can get when you working on your dog. And uh, most dogs got the sequencer, the track, and got the mixer. Right in Studio One, you got the the edit view. So, for example, if you if you got a uh, if you grab the you know an audio file, you know what I'm saying. You see it in the edit view. Um, then you got the mixer. And then on top of that, you can go and make the mixer this height. You know, you can see the levels this tall. To me, I don't really like that. It look weird uh, when they show the meters this way. But um, you can bring the levels down. And then you got the browser. That's, that's, that's about what Studio One is going to give you. You got edit. For all your tracks and your files. You got mix. To show you the mixer track. And you can make the mixer. Then you can also get the mixer. And uh. You know. You know. Release it. From his. De you can detach it. And still make it. How big. You can let it float around. This is good for. If you got a second screen. You can just drag it to the second screen and just have the mix on the second screen and stuff like that for people who like to work on that. Work that way. But, uh, I don't use second screens. If you press maximize, it'll make it that way. But if you press play, the meters don't be so big unless you do it like this. And it's a little weird. You know, it's just a simple sound. Um, so let me detach that back. So, yeah, in Studio One, you only got the edit, mix, and browse. That's the only options it gives you. So, meaning that how can I break this down? If you if you're working on your edit, you could bring the edit all the way up. But what if you want to see your mixer while you editing? It don't give you that option or, you know, um, if you want to, see, if you want to use your edit editor in a, in a large screen mask like this, and you want to do certain things. Now you could bring this down low and only see the sequencer, but that's the same thing as seeing the editor. You just seeing your tracks, and once you click on the tracks, you know, uh, let's show the editor. Like, it'll be dope if the editor was up here and the mixer was down here. So, but as soon as you click on mix, that's all you can see. You click on the editor, that's all you can see. See, these type of things help you, you move fast, in my opinion. If you're really working in a certain doll. So this is the reason why I say um, Bitwig is real great with this. And let me show y'all. And I'm going uh, to start at Ranger. I'm going to start it the same way. And I'm going to add a few tracks. And I'm going to just get a loop. So you can get a, like a visual how it's going to be. You know. And so now, so where we at right now, I'm going to move this out the way. Let's say this is the sequencer. It's in Bitwig, you got the sequencer. You can see the range clip, sequencer, the range clip, sequencer, and the, uh, the automation, sequencer, 
and you can see your devices like the effects that you put on that track sequencer and you can also have sequencer and the mixer track you know uh, when you want level stuff and then on top of that you go to the left or the right and you could you could show certain things like you could take away the uh the bus tracks, the effects tracks. You could show the effects on top of each track, or you can get rid of it. You know, and then on top of that, you can make this actually bigger. Well, when it's this way, it's only go this length. But you can move that out the way, move that out the way. You know, you can bring your input options in. Um, you can show your A and B. That's just way if you got the sequencer up and you trying to uh, work on certain information at that time. So now, you can, you can change the range to just only showing the mixer. So let's say you're working on the mixer. And then, <laughs> you can show the mixer with... Uh, Hold up, let me, let me go back to range right quick. Let me let me put this on that first. Alright. So now you can go to the mixer. You can have that same information that's on your sequencer on the mixer. So you can have mixer level. You know, you could move it up how far you want it to move. You can have the uh you can show the editor panel panel. You got the automation, mixing automation. You got mixer and then show the plugins, right? And on top of that, if you move it out the way, click this, the meters are larger. And I can move this out the way, move all the clips out the way. And now the mix the uh the meters are larger and look better than uh, Studio One. If you really look at it now, you get a better view of your uh, your, me your meter levels. You can bring in the input. Let me take that away and bring that down. You can bring in your, uh, you can take away your, um, your FX tracks, like you got reverb, parallel, vocal, low pass. They got them all right here automatically. You don't have to uh, sit there and add it on the track in Studio One. All you got to do is just turn the knob to affect it. It's already there. A, B. Now, if you go to edit, you can have the edit where you could just edit the whole screen on whatever you're trying to work on. And now you got the edit with the, the 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 effects, and edit with the mixer. Make it smaller, make it you know huge. We're halfway. It give you a lot of options, man. So you 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 don't have to slow your creativity down when you're trying to get things out your brain. And uh, let me see. And that's about it. Edit. So the edit only give you the, the mixer and the show device panel. And you can still move it up and down the way you want to move it. And you still got your window. You can close that if you don't need it. Or you can go click this plus button and open up the window this way and bring all the same information that you bring in from the this part. Now, if y'all can't tell me that's versatility, man, I don't know what y'all thinking. That make the job so much easy when it comes to that. If y'all have any more questions about Big Will, let me know. This your crystal piece.